Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review on the Autel AL319 code reader. We're going to get this thing hooked up and check it out and see what it's all about. Um, OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics, and the 2 was a designation on all cars and light trucks, model year 1996 and newer. They were sold in the U.S., and they were required to have this port within the vehicle. So essentially any 1996 and newer vehicles in the U.S., you're most likely going to have this port on the driver's side underneath your dash. If your vehicle was sold outside of the U.S., you're still more than likely going to have this in your vehicle. Just take a look to confirm for sure. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up first and see what it, what's all in there. Um, it looks pretty obvious. It's in clamshell packaging, but we're probably going to have an owner's manual in there as well that kind of breaks down all the different uh, functions for us. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, guys, got the packaging cut open here. We'll go ahead and open it up. Um, here's the code reader uh, right here. Nice fit in the palm of your hand. Pretty standard size cord on these from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, here's the back of it. Let's see what else is in the package here. Oh, we got a USB cable here. Um, you know, that's probably for software updates on the uh, code reader to be able to hook it up to your computer. That's cool that they give you that. Let's see if we get an owner's manual here. We got a quick reference guide. Um, tells us to make sure to read through this uh, before we get started. You can also scan the QR code or go to the website to download the full owner's manual. So yeah, make sure you give all that stuff a read before you use this. It'll help kind of clue you in on uh, all the specifics of the code reader. But let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up really quick and see what it's all about. All right, guys, on my car, the port is right down here. That's it right there. Um, it can only fit in one way, so just make sure you're installing it the right way. Um, you can see that it's kind of, you know, longer at the top and shorter on the bottom and then has the angled sides. So make sure the OBD2 connector goes in that same way. Let me go ahead and hook mine up really quick, and we will be right back. All right, guys, um, before we use this, make sure to download the user's manual from their website or from scanning that QR code and read through the quick reference guide. It'll help you kind of understand what you need to about this unit. All right, guys, here it is. A nice looking little unit. You know, this one was about $50. It's got a color screen. We got our four different options there on the screen. We got different lights here, you know, green for everything's good, yellow, um, for like pending issues and then red for stuff that's failed. Uh, we got an I am readiness button that'll just take us right into that, that particular menu and enter exit button and a scroll button. Let's go ahead and go into the about first. Tells us the software version and serial number. So if we needed to, um, you know, update it, they gave us that USB cable and we could update the newest version of software uh, if there was a newer release than this. Let's exit out here. Let's go to setup next. Uh, language. And this one gives us the choice between English, French, and Spanish. I'm going to do English. Configure monitor so that'll like reset to factory default if you wanted to do that. Um, unit of measure, it says that it's defaulted to metric, which is what we want, so we're going to leave it there. Looks like a couple of the, the beep, um, you know, the beep settings on this. You could turn on or off if you don't like it. You can self test the tool if it's having issues. And you can go into update mode, like if you were going to update this, and the instructions for that are in the manual that tell you if you wanted to try to update the to the newest software. Um, next, let's go into the readiness test, the ready test there. It'd be the same thing as hitting this IM button right there, but we're going to access it through the um, screen here. And it's reading the different monitors, and it's going to report back with what it finds. Okay, we can see that everything came back good. We got the green check mark on the unit. It shows you all the different monitors there um, or if they were not um, available on this particular car. It tells you that the malfunction indicator light is off. That's this little top thing that says mill. 
Um, that's your check engine light. Tells us if there was diagnostic trouble code zero and that there's no pending codes either. That's the one next to it, the PDDDTC zero. So we can see at the moment this car is uh, good to go as far as, um, you know, the, the specific codes. Nothing's coming back. So um, that's a good thing. So we're going to exit out here. And let's go ahead and go into the OBD2 uh, menu here. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to read everything here. So you can see that when we go into that menu, it gave us the green check light. So it did a lot of the same stuff. It read the monitors. There's no codes that came back. Let's go ahead and go through the menu here really quick. So like read codes, um, we can hit enter here, but there's not going to be any codes to read. But if there was, this is where they would show up. And then you could take that code and, and go to the internet and look it up and see what the potential problems are for that code. Uh, the owner's manual also has a list of uh, codes that you can go through that will tell you what they're for. So let's exit out of here. This is where you could erase codes um, if you wanted to. Um, live data. So this is a nice feature where you can actually see like the specifics of your car um, while it's on. So if you, you know, you got a code back and you wanted to do some deeper research on it, um, you could go through, you know, all the specific stuff here and it would tell you um, you know, what, what your car's ratings are, what the numbers are, and then you could you verify if those are within uh, spec or not, and then use those to uh, figure out what the problem might be. So let's exit out of here. View freeze frame. This is a snapshot of when the trouble code was recorded. So if we did have a trouble code, we could go in here and it would tell you that, you know, all the, the specific numbers um, related to that trouble code at the time it was registered. Let's exit out of there. And then we got another I am readiness here, which is the same thing we were looking at from the original menu or this button right here. Your vehicle info, so that'll return things like VIN number and that type of stuff if you wanted to look that up through the, um, you know, the tool here. Uh, which modules are present on your vehicle, um, you know, and we saw that like when we click the I am readiness button, which ones this particular vehicle didn't use. And then previous menu, just to uh, get back to the beginning here. So overall, this is a nice unit. This is a nice handheld unit for the price. It's super easy to use. I like the light feature here. I like how easy it is to get into the different menus. I like the, the graphics on the, you know, when you do the I am readiness, I like how the graphics came back and kind of gave you a checklist of where everything stood. This is a great little unit. Um, you know, the price is right. So um, what do you guys think? You know, let me know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you did enjoy this video and found it useful. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.